G'day ladies and gentlemen, Bite here and welcome back to Skyblock. Uh, Skyblock? I hope not. <laughs> Sky Table. Yes. A um, couple of things I just want to quickly point out is that uh, I did have some people posting in the last few videos with, and videos. Um, and thanks awesome for the, you know, thanks heaps for the comments because it's been fantastic. Uh, but there was the King Firebolt and Seljic 2 or Selic 2. I uh, apologize if I pronounced it incorrectly. Did point out that with Tree Capitator, you can go to the config file and you can actually have it so when you knock the trees down, uh, all the leaves disappear as well. So that's a pretty cool little feature. I was never actually aware of that. So that's so thanks a big shout out to you two for pointing that out. Uh, and also to uh, ta da123123 uh, for pointing out another way of getting some good EMC is to have a little mushroom. Thank you, Troy. Is by having a uh, mushroom farm. So yeah, uh, that's pretty cool. The way of getting EMCs because you get one mushroom, you get like sixteen, uh, you get one giant mushroom, and then you get sixteen or thereabouts small mushrooms from it. And each mushroom is the equivalent of a piece of wood, which is um, thirty-two EMC. And so yeah, so I'm actually going to grab myself just a few bits of oh, I'll keep them there because I want to get myself a um, few pieces of bone meal. That'll probably do. There's not, not enough to do it all, I suppose, but it doesn't matter. Just want to knock a few of these trees. Make them bigger. Just use up what I've got. So then I can cut these things down, and you can actually see that when you cut it down... Bing! <laughs> so you still get the saplings, and you still have a chance of getting apples. It just removes them all, all the leaves straight away. So that's kind of cool, and I like that. That's really, really neat. I just wanted to show that. That was all. And, but yeah, otherwise, the, as I said, the mushrooms is another great way of getting some EMC. Uh, okay, put that in there. Got heaps of apples on me now. That's fantastic. Um, yeah, so I turn that off, don't need that on. Uh, the one thing I do want to do at the moment, though, is I want to... Is this going to work? Is this going to work? I want to make myself a transposer. Because that's what I'm going to use for once I get the mob trap going. I want to... So they fall down, hit the ground, or hit the base of the uh, mob trap... Uh, they'll die, they'll drop their loot, and the transposer will then, rather than getting stuck inside the mob trap, the transposer will suck them through and spit them out the bottom, and then I can have a them running into a pipeline and then into a chest. So, not just an automatic way of being able to pick the items up without... Um, I need some coal. I've got some charcoal, which is in there, which is fantastic. Oops. Uh, so, yeah, there'll be an, autom an automated way of being able to get my stuff, all the fat loots. Alright, um, need some of that. Okay, because what I want to do is make a transposer and I need a uh, piston first. Uh, oops, that's not going to work because I need some wooden planks. And I'm pretty, pretty positive it's made like this, and it is. There you go. Piston, then wooden planks. Uh, yes, and then the... Redstone there? Yeah, cool. I wasn't sure if those two were in the wrong way around. And there is the transposer. That's cool. And yeah, we're cruising. I'll get rid of most of this stuff. I don't really need that much. I might just uh, give myself a few torches, a few extras. I could use the uh, trans, trans table to do it, but I'm not going to do it. That's an easy way of doing it. And I'll grab myself some of these wood. Uh, that's wood, apparently. <laughs> Cobblestone. Chuck it into there. And I'll give me a few more stacks of smooth stone. Just target that smooth stone and I can go nuts. There you go. Perfect. Look at that. You gotta love it. Too easy. Now oh, bugger it. Have a look. Um don't want to carry around too much stuff. I'm not gonna, oh, actually I'll take that with me, I can get rid of it now. Um, actually I'll make myself a whoops. I'm um, just going to make myself a, a stone pickaxe for now, because I wouldn't mind having one in case I misplace blocks, which I generally do tend to do. Uh, get that can go there, don't need that. Shouldn't need all them, don't need that. Alright, that should just about do, I think. Alright. Nice crunchy apples. <laughs> oh, crap. That was something I did forget, was my damn ladders. All right, I'll give myself say 36 of them should just about do it. All right, so 
I'm not gonna. I'm just gonna start this off, and you'll see what I'm then gonna be doing. Um, I'm not gonna do too much recording. I'm not gonna show all this, but I just want to show you how I'm gonna start this thing off. Come on, place the block. Uh, that's there. So that goes there. And and just get these ones done here. And now, I don't actually have my um, screwdriver on me, but the transposer will go... Oh, went the right way anyway. Good. That's where the transposer will go, which is kind of cool. And so now, when I... Uh, anything actually will end up crashing down here when they fall, that will end up sucking them out and spits them out the bottom. So, yeah, that's kind of cool. You would have probably seen it before again in, way, in uh, DW's video, no doubt. But it's when he did the um, Feed the Beast... But that's simply because it's the uh, a nice, easy way of doing it. And, yeah, so it's very cool. And it's just taking advantage of redstone features, because that's what the, that's where it's from. And how many can I do there? It's a couple there. Beautiful. And, yeah, so that's all I'm going to do now. I'm just going to keep going around the uh, base of the mob trap. Keep placing the ladders as I'm going up as well. And... That will be basically it. So, just keep doing this, and that'll be it. So I'm not going to do two. I'm not. I'll just do one more circuit around because I just want to point out that I'm going to quickly get a recording done because um, tomorrow is actually a public holiday. It is Anzac Day, which Anzac standing for Australian New Zealand Army Corps, and it's uh, basically a day to remember the um, what well, was on 25th of April 1915 when the uh, Australian, New Zealand and British troops landed at Gallipoli in part of the Great War, World War One, And yeah, so it's a day to remember all those who have served in past and present in the armed forces. And yeah, so I won't be doing any recording. That's why I want to get this uh, uh, recording done today and hopefully get a few episodes out of this one. So yeah, that's it. So I'm going to just go around here and I'll place the ladders and... Then I'm going to just stop the record, and I'll continue on recording once I've reached the uh, top of the um, the tower. So we'll be back, ladies and gentlemen. All right. Well, there you go. Got the tower done. You can see used up all the uh, ladders, so that's kind of neat. Not sure where the hell I put the ladders now. Oh, down there. That's good. <laughs> all right. So I'm just going to place some torches around here in case I uh, don't get a chance to get back up here. But um, I've got a few blocks left over. Not much. Uh, what have we got? Uh, a bit over a stack. So that's all right. Uh, so I'm just going to make a little platform out. So, I mean, you guys have seen this design, no doubt. Uh, as most people probably say, it's like the Captain Sparkles design, no doubt, most people probably say. But uh, just making it three wide, because I made the, uh, the gap they can fall down three wide. So make the uh, water area three wide. And I wasn't counting how much I've done this. It's two, three, four, five, six, seven. And it's getting dark, so I'm going to have to... Uh, be a little bit careful. Uh, oh shit, what was that? That was eight. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So that's eight to there. So I would want to do one, two, and three. That's awesome. Okay. So what I want to do is I just want to make a bit of a border here. Should be okay. I should be able to start here, even though it's getting dark. I've got it well lit up, so shouldn't be too bad. With a bit of luck. <laughs> okay, bring this along here. I have to stop because the ladder's just there. I don't want to uh, have a song going to fall off. So there you go. Neat. And that will go there. And I might as well just extend this one out since I've got a few more blocks left on me, so I might as well get this one done with a bit of luck. Hopefully I don't get shot off. So that's four, five, six, seven, eight, and the ninth being the back wall there. I'll place myself a few torches. I should uh, make sure nothing wants to spawn there. That's pretty good. And 
that one. Okay, oops, you dickhead, get there. All right, so now I'm out of blocks. Okay, so I'm gonna have to head down now, obviously, and we'll go get some more supplies. And do you reckon that's lit? that should be lit up enough to come back up here, hopefully. Depending on how many blocks I've still got available, I can actually obtain, so. Let's go down. Cool. Might even have some mobs spawning inside the thing already, so. Because I'm not sure I put any torches in there or not. I probably didn't, but anyway, who cares? They can stay in there. Not going to hurt anyone. Okay, so this is looking pretty good. So I just want to have a look. Oh, look at that. Nice. Very nice. I'll just do that. So I've got myself one as the target block. Tell you what, as I said before, this certainly beats having to uh, cook everything. <laughs> uh, it's beautiful. Okay, do some of this crap. I can go there. Awesome, that's that. And I might as well cut down those trees since they seem to have grown quite nicely. Or well, some of them have anyway. Boom. I can, uh, I'm getting used to that very quickly, I think. <laughs> so yeah, big, big shout out to you, you two guys that uh, did point that out because I was never aware of that. That's cool. That's very cool. And sweet. Um, I'm actually going to need another... Ooh. I'm going to need a bucket soon, no doubt, but um, I'm going to risk taking it up there now. Mm, I don't know. Actually, I don't think I will. I'll leave the bucket down here until I get the rest of the uh, area all finished off. Don't really need to carry it. Oh, great. I don't like carrying extra stuff around with me. I'm a bit paranoid when it comes to that. Yeah, we've got a... We've got a uh, whatchamacallit? Watermelon. And the tree grown already. Beautiful. Okay, so let's just cruise up here. And. Yeah, you would have heard that zombie. He's spawned inside the uh, tunnel already. That's cool. He can stay in there. I have no problem with that. He's hoping there's nothing spawned up here. That's the only thing. There were plenty of torches, so it should be fine. Sweet. Cool. That's what I wanted to know. Alright, so let's just... Whoa, shit! <laughs> just started sprinting on me then. That's quite alarming. I think I just noticed that that happens. If you're just walking along, all of a sudden you uh, might just... I don't know whether I just accidentally just tap the button or... But that's quite alarming when you just suddenly start sprinting. Anyway, whatever. Let's get this done. So, a little bit boring this bit. Um, I'm just... I wasn't... I won't cut this bit out. I'll keep this one going just so it's a bit more... Footage, but I'll just I'll get this base plate a base plate done for where the water will be, um, and then I'll just finish off the uh, little walkabout where the uh, mobs will actually spawn, and I'll probably cut the video while I do that. There's no real need to keep all that recorded because you've seen all this before, done by plenty of other people. Um, so it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I was right. I thought I was, and that's the wall. Cool. Just need some bit of extra light up here. And cool. Very cool. All right. So get that done. Because once we get this done and all these mobs are uh, spawning, oh yeah, we are in for a hell of a lot of EMC because this is the best way to get it. You know, I mean, there's a lot of other good ways like your. Uh, has been pointed out before, but uh, yeah, nothing beats the good old mob trap because um, actually, I don't really need to break that one, it does need to be there anyway. Um, yeah, because you get gunpowder, which is a fuel source, um, and you'll get like a stack of gunpowder will give you like about 12,000 or something like EMC or whatever. It's a, it's a big amount of EMC just for gunpowder alone. Three, four, five. So, yeah, and plus also the other stuff like the um, bones and so forth. Oh yeah, you're flying. <laughs> That's good. I'll keep, me, I'll keep losing count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And it's eight. And that's the wall. Cool. 
Damn it. Get that on the way. Sweet. So, yeah, there you go. That's the basic idea of what this uh, is going to look like. So, again, there's eight there, so the water just comes through, stops just at, the, just at this point, and it's obviously then enough just to push the mobs down into the hole, and then they're doomed. <laughs> okay, so... Uh, crap. No, I'm going to lose a block. Whatever. All right, um, so that's it. I might just uh, cut this while I just continue off because this is just going to get leveled out as a flat area for them to spawn. And, yeah, I'll just come back once I've got all these sections done. So, yeah, stay tuned, ladies and gentlemen. We'll be back.